Okay, here we go. Test number five, four. Um, tricopter with a Skookum SK720 flybarless gyro. Um, test number three ended in a crash because I'm standing next to the pergola pole and it blocked the fence view and it hit the fence. Then it got stuck in the grass, but anyway. So here, are, test number four. Here we go. This is starting with 30% self level. I'll try not to be so gun ho this time, not crash into the fence or something. It's a large tricopter for the small backyard, so you don't have too much room to move. Well, already too close to the fence, too. Hmm. I've developed like an idle one pitch curve that goes from uh, 20 or 30 percent to 50 and then to 100. That way when I do a pitch pump and come down, it doesn't hammer down like that, see? Came down nice. That way um, when I move the throttle down, the, the motors don't actually stop and then have to start up again. So like that, see? You come nice floating down, really good. So that's my idle up. Okay, so as you can see, there's your SK720 tricopter with the self-level. Um, I don't know if I can demonstrate the self-level. I'm going to bank left and then let go, let go. See, whoop. See, it only gently comes back, let go. See, it comes up. Um, I'll try to do a forward elevator, let go. It'll slowly, whoop. It'll slowly come back up, and that's how I want it, so that you can fly around smoothly. You know, you can up the percentage if you want a really harsh level, it's up to you. But of course the self-level, the more percentage, the higher percentage you have on the self-level, the more it will ride itself. So when you go forward, you tend to lose forward speed unless you keep um, the elevator up, which is a bit unusual for helicopter flying. So. A bit of nose in there. Probably good for some nose in training with the self level up. Now the uh, pyro on these is somewhat unstable because if you go into a radical pyro, let's see. Uh, whoops. As you can see, it <laughs> just can't cope. It's not designed for radical pyro. But a little bit of movement here yeah, is fine. Okay. I'm turning off the self-level, so now I have the same settings, just no self-level. And uh, a bit of nose in, come in. It, it generally flies smoother, right? But you don't have that protection of the uh, out of you. you. You don't have that protection of the self-level. This is all without self-level, self it's just me flying now with the fly ballast gyro. I'll come in for a hover, stability test, to see how we go. Keep in mind I have to balance it, it's got a little bit of a trim off. Put the self-level back and it's a lot easier to balance. Yeah, video number four with a uh, S 
Skookum SK720 as a controller on a tricopter. Hope you enjoyed it.